The Little Mermaid, a story for Mademoiselle Doro. And so gradually, the Little Mermaid began to understand. She had sought love from the wrong man. Come in. I'm sorry, sir, but he insisted on seeing you immediately. Shh, shh, shh. She's still asleep. What's the trouble, doorman? Who, who's this little boy? Sir, this is addressed to Mademoiselle Doro. I found this boy in the theater trying to take it. Well, it seems to be a story. And it is addressed to her. Why were you trying to take it? I wasn't trying to steal it. It's, it's mine. Is it? Uh, then why is it addressed to my wife? Nils, what is all this? It's mine! Please give it to me, it's mine! Now, who wrote this? I did. You did. You. Suppose you tell me just why you happen to write this story to my wife. It has nothing to do with you or her. It's just a story. He made up a story, that's all. He's always making up stories. And he made up this one. Well, now would you mind telling me just who he is? We know very well you didn't write it, so you might just as well stop lying. Now, who is he? A friend of mine. <laughs> What's his name? Hans. Christian Anderson. The cobbler. <laughs> Darling, it's the cobbler. The cobbler who fixed my shoes so beautifully yesterday has written me a story for a ballet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. Oh, tell the cobbler I am delighted to have it. What was his name, Hans? And I will read it carefully. <laughs> <laughs> the Little Mermaid. <laughs> oh, me, stop it. It's all very innocent and quite touching. 